my name is Bronya Strohsneider, and I live here in the Pittsburgh area, and I'm the mother of Brooke Strohsneider, who was diagnosed with MELAS a number of years ago. So Brooke was diagnosed in, uh, let's see, she was diagnosed in December of 2011, which was about eight months after she had her first symptoms that were known to us or to her. Um, you know, I, I, since it's a genetic um, disease, she was obviously born with it. She had, was living her full life. She was working, she was, had graduated from college. She had a master's degree in art therapy. She was a runner, a marathon runner, and she was working as a personal trainer for American Eagle on the south side here of Pittsburgh. She had opened up their corporate gym, and um, one morning she had a stroke. When she called me that morning, I could tell that she was slurring her words, and I told her I was going to come in and see what was going on, and she didn't want me to come in. But long story short, she was admitted to the hospital. I, I went in, got her, took her to the hospital. She was admitted to a hospital for about four days, and she left the hospital with the diagnosis of um, um, ischemic attack, um, TIA, transient ischemic attack. So we were happy that that's usually a diagnosis that you know, that resolves itself. Um, however, when we left the hospital and then the weeks that ensued, she gradually became worse. She didn't, she didn't get better. So we started with her family doctor and we moved on to some specialists and no one knew what was wrong with her. Uh, we ended up at a neurologist um, who was treating her. She was getting worse by that point. Um, she, her language had deteriorated, um, her ability to understand and to even to write um, it was deteriorating. Her, she had a lot of movement um, problems, so we ended up at a movement disorder clinic. Um, and just, we couldn't figure out anything, but we did end up with a neurologist who um, was treating her. And finally, after about six or seven months of treating her, he asked us if we had ever heard of mitochondrial disease. And we said, no, we hadn't heard of it. Neither had she or her, her dad, or, nor myself. I, you know, it was a long word. And so he explained it to us. Um, and then we ended up um, getting um, further diagnosis at Children's Hospital for that. So, and that's where we went. Mm -hmm.